cuties. You have cooties? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The Netflix movie with the twerking kids. Netflix movie with the twerking kids. Calm down, bro. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. The pedophiles. The pedophiles. The pedophiles. What pedophiles? You. I'm not a pedophile. Bro, what are you trying to say? You watched it? How could you do that? You haven't watched it yet. Why would I? They have girls twerking on the poster. I've seen the video clips. I've seen the video clips. I've seen enough. This is so out of character for you. I'm normally the one that shouts. Well, I'm mad. I'm angry. And you should be too. How could Netflix do this? I stopped pirating for them. I stopped pirating. Well, you shouldn't have done that in the first place, so. They're trying to normalize the sexualization of children, and I'm not going to stand for that, okay? I've signed like 15 different online petitions. I've made a substantial difference. You're kind of breaking the rules, dude. What rules? How so? We're not supposed to sit down and talk about the movie until we've both seen it. I'm not going to promote the sexualization of kids. Okay, okay, that's fair. But you don't have a problem with Daybreak, Never Have I Ever, 13 Reasons Why, Big Mouth, Sex Education, and that's really just, that's, that's skimming from the top of the barrel. But those are different, they're teenagers, they're like 16 and in America. Sex Education is set in Europe. It doesn't matter which part of the Northern Hemisphere they're in, they're older, it's different. But they're underage. They're more developed. But they're underage. They're more mature. But they're underage. Say that one more time and I'll knock you off your broom. Well, here's the thing, mate. Does the law apply to everyone or to only those who are 16 and above? Yes, but like, you can't look the at- The shows it. I mentioned before depicts people who are at least under the age of 18 engaging in sexual activities or explicit sex. So, is that not sexualization of minors? Yes, but that's just a reflection of today's society, okay? Teenagers have been having sex behind their parents' backs for years. It's barely a secret. And that somehow makes it right? Jeez, you're just coming at me with all the good points today, huh? You know, you act like you haven't seen this in real life. Like you haven't seen the TikTok dances, the Instagram posts, uh, the Facebook photos. Oh, yeah, I mean, we can let them go crazy in real life, but God forbid we put it in a movie. Yeah, because that's gonna make it okay. If they see it in the movies, they're gonna think it's fine. No, you made it okay the moment you let little Casey twerk her way to a million followers before she was old enough to get an ID. Yeah, but that's still not cool. Dude. Yeah, but nothing. Stop talking out of your butt. Cuties was a favorite at Sundance. It's a coming-of-age story that I personally relate to being an immigrant and a kid growing up who really didn't fit in with most of the other kids. If people weren't so used to shooting first and asking questions later these days, you'd all be able to realize that you and the filmmaker are on the same team. The goal is not to promote pedophilia or the sexualization of children. It's a blinding and I mean blinding, I had to look away sometimes. Example of what we're allowing our kids to do today, what they're capable of seeing at the click of a button, at the opening of an app, things that they can do when we leave them alone to their own devices. Those kids were way in over their heads, barely knew what they were doing, and that's our fault. We failed them, we did, society. All I saw was twerking kids. You saw what you wanted to see. In fact, you didn't see anything. You haven't seen the movie. Go watch the movie, and maybe then we can talk. But come on, man. Just watch the movie. I promise you won't set on fire. Psh, clearly. Besides, you're all too distracted to realize what the real problem with the movie is. What's the real problem then, huh?
It's a dance movie, and these dance movies need to stop. Whew. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> Ugh, where did we even start? All right. This is a delicate one, and I wanted to keep it short because you've already uploaded a video today, so I don't want to, like, steal any more of your time. But, oof. <laughs> I really did feel like I had to say something because I've had countless discussions with different friends, male, female, of all differing ages. One thing that most of them had in common was that they hadn't seen the movie. So <laughs> it was really uh, hard to put anything together. But yeah, no, it's, 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 um, I feel like Maimuna Dokuhe, did I say Maimuna Dokuhe? I feel like Maimuna Dokuhe knows what she's talking about, being that she is a black French Senegalese woman. So I feel like she knows what she's talking about. And I, I don't know, guys. I feel like this is just a movie that you're not going to be able to judge by its cover. And that's really saying something because Netflix messed that up. Ooh, they really botched the marketing on this one. Bad, just bad. But that being said, you know, I really do suggest that you watch the movie and then, I don't know, maybe I do another video on this. Maybe this is enough for you. It's enough for me. Uh, I feel like the movie speaks for itself. If you go and you watch the movie, I don't feel like I'd have to do this again. And here's the thing, guys. If you don't watch the movie, you're just going to keep assuming the worst. If you do watch the movie, I guarantee you there's nothing to lose. And even if that doesn't change your perspective on it, at least that way you'll know what you're talking about better. You'll know your enemy. And that's always something worth knowing. I'm trying my best here not to be divisive, not to create sides or choose sides. Just because I feel like everybody's going to say what they want to say and think what they want to think. And we're already living in an age in which fake news is shared more than real news. Yeah, all I have to, all, all I have to say is... I watched the movie, it really touched me, at many points I almost cried, and according to an article on Time, Sundance is completely behind the movie, Tessa Thompson, if that matters to you, is completely behind the movie, and apparently so is the entire French government. So unless you're calling the entire French government pedophiles, I don't know, I don't know. If that's what you want to do, I'm not going to stop you. Go ahead, call the entire French government a bunch of pedophiles. I won't stop you. I mean, Reddit's practically doing the same with Netflix anyway, so it's okay. If you want to do that, go ahead and do that. I'm not going to stop you. I feel like that's grounds enough for you to at least give it a, give it a, give it a look. Give it a watch. Just maybe the first 30 minutes or so. Yeah. Maimuna Dukuhe. Maimuna Dukuhe. God, that name. Maimuna Dukuhe. Probably saying it wrong, and I'm sorry for that. That's it, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't seen the previous video that I uploaded today, go watch that. It's based on Work It. And please, guys, destroy that subscribe button like your life depends on it. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified about all our video uploads. Click around. I'm sure there's other videos for you here to see. You're going to love them all. We have short films. We have skits. We have other think pieces. And uh, if you hit the subscribe button and the like button, gifts do fall out of my beard. And maybe one day I'll give you one. <laughs>